Shalom, 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 my brothers and sisters. Shalom to you one more time. This is your brother, the Moray Aria Israel, right here for Liberation Tabernacle of Yah, coming in on behalf of my brother. Uh, shalom to my brother, the Moray David Israel as well. Yes, sir. Welcome in one more time. Brothers and sisters, come on in the house right here to, like I said, Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indeed. Yes, sir. I am, like I said, um, let me get my words right, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Delighted to be in this house again. And like I said, all praise and all glory and all honor goes to the Most High, Yah. All praises due and all glory goes to our King, our Cherisher, our Sustainer, the King of the Universe, the Sustainer of the Universe, and everything therein. Yes, sir. Greatly, greatly appreciate you, brothers and sisters, for always stopping in and checking out our videos and um, our talks, our lessons, uh, you know, uh, whatever, you know, these things may be here for you. And I hope and I pray the most high, y'all, that you get something out of these videos as well. Um, today, brothers and sisters, I just want to come in here and uh, pose a question for us. Yeah. Because I know some of you probably be wondering, probably been wondering, but, you know, nobody never emailed us or commented and asked this question. So I thought, and uh, as I was speaking to the, uh, the Moray David Israel, and we were just going over having discussions among ourselves about, you know, um, uh, you know, what, you know, what direction that we are in going in uh, and in what direction of path that we are going as for Liberation Tabernacle Yah or how we stand right here for Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. So we, you know, just got together and we decided, you know, we talked about it. And so I thought that even here that we may want to add post this question for ourselves and put it out here for you. Um, so this question here is, is Liberation Tabernacle of Yah affiliated with the Hebrew Israelite movement? Is Liberation Tabernacle of Yah affiliated with what's called the Hebrew Israelite movement? Some people say Black Hebrew Israelite movement. Uh, so, yeah, that is the question. Are we, any kind of way, form, or fashion uh, affiliated? You know, so y'all about to glare. I just, just can't never seem to get that glare out of these glasses. Are we somewhat, how are we, are we affiliated? Uh, the short answer would be, and this is, I'm speaking as well, not just for myself, but I'm speaking on behalf of my brother, David Israel as well. We both would say, no, no, we are really, we're not affiliated. <laughs> and some people might say, they call, some people do call it a movement, the Hebrew Israelite movement. No, we're not affiliated at all um, with that so-called movement. Why? That's another question, y'all. Y'all might ask me now, why? I got to get I give an explanation on why. Well, why we say we're not affiliated with that. Now, we once were, let me say it for the record. I guess we can say we once were, David Israel and myself, we once were a part of that Um so-called movement and reason we say we're not and, and 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 i know a lot of them probably disagree and that's fine they they can't just people y'all can disagree what you want and we're not going to put everybody and when, when i'm trying to speak tonight i'm not generalizing all of the brothers and sisters that's a part of so-called that, that israelite movement or whatnot so we're not putting everybody in this one box but uh there's a number of them that you know, do some of the things that I'll be talking about. Um, and we kind of see here what a part of this is Hebrew Israelite movement is, is to me, this is just my opinion and a lot of things. It's a lot more focus on um, what we saw racial identity. There's a lot of things with racial identity, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that, that seem to be the main focus that I see um with that movement racial identity and nothing wrong with having a wanting an identity that's not that don't get me wrong on that that's nothing wrong with that um but it, it, it's just the emphasis on just putting on that because number one we're talking about when you're talking about dealing with the torah you're talking about dealing with the torah or we said it the tanakh 
as a whole, um, that is not what the emphasis is supposed to be on. That's not the full emphasis of what this thing is supposed to be about, right? Because you're claiming to be representing Torah or you're claiming to be representing Tanakh. So it does not have anything to do with your talking about your racial identity, all of that, especially when you're talking about Yah, Yah this, Yah that, the most high this. Well, you're supposed to be representing Yah's instruction, what he gave to Moses, what he said on Mount Sinai. That is what we're supposed to be focused on, Yah and his righteousness. So, you know, and, and like Brother David Israel said in, in uh, on the last video I just posted up there what uh, that he did, he did it on Talk Show, which I'm actually posting this live right now on Talk Show, and it'll be coming up to YouTube um, after I finish uh, recording it here on Talk Show. But the Brother David Israel, he did an excellent video. The Messianic, um, what was it? The Messianic, because he did, I have to change the name on here is one name on Talk Show, and there's another name on YouTube. Let me make sure, yeah, because I'm I forget the name already. But it was the Messianic, we call it here the Messianic, um, the Black Messianic Doctrine versus the KKK Doctrine. Yeah, y'all gotta check this out. It's right here on YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah, and what he was actually going into and talking about some of the doctrine. Is basically uh, somewhat the same. So my thing here is, uh, while we said we're not so much affiliated with that, because it's so much like that in some of these groups. Now, this is not all of them, but a lot of it is the emphasis. Now, we say here, they're about, they talk about separation, being separatists, right? I say I'm a separatist too. I was messing with Dave on this other day. I, I'm a segregationist. I'm a separatist but not in the form and the fashion that they talk about uh, being separated. When I mean I'm a separatist and, and, and I'm a segregationist, I'm talking about what the Tanakh or what, excuse me, let me just put it like this, what the Torah is talking about being separated. That's what I'm, I'm a segregationist, a segregationist, according to Torah. What are you talking about, Ariana? Not what they talking about. Now they talk about, you know, because you know the white man and the, you know the out, uh, uh, what you call him, uh, um, uh, the Edomite and all of this type of stuff. You know, they, you know, they hate the white man, and that's their own prerogative, Bobby Brown, y'all. But when I say I'm a separatist or segregationist according to Torah, meaning that I'm separate, I want to separate, or we separate ourselves from the wicked ones, those who do not want to uh, serve the creator, those who do not want to abide by the rules and regulations that y'all have laid out, you know, just to we say the evil ones, the adversaries, you know, these Hashetans with S on it, y'all, the Hashetan, the adversaries, that's who I say I'm separating, want to separate myself from. That's what I say. I'm a separatist according to the Torah. Yeah, separating myself from those who are wicked, evil, who just, just, just flat out <laughs> ain't no doggone good, y'all. That's who I want to separate from, right? But yeah, there's so many things that that we yeah, we we look at a lot of this doctrine that that's being espoused out here in what they call the Hebrew Israelite community that we are, um, we just don't agree with anymore. We did. And like I said, y'all notice I just said anymore because we once did, we once, we once believed a lot of this stuff, you know, and, uh, like Dave, brother Dave said the other day as well. He said, once you, once you start growing spiritually, and that's a very key word right there. When you grow spiritually, you you don't see a lot of things the same. And that is the way we see it. I see liking a lot of this stuff with what being the spouse. It's, it, it's not a spiritual movement. It's not a spiritual. And I know they say they might say, well, we're not religious and all of this, but hell, y'all ain't don't seem to be y'all are not spiritual either. Y'all are teaching a lot of stuff. It's y'all use the name of y'all. That's what I see. A lot of people they use the name of the most high, right? And but they're what what they're into there's is 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 no spirituality in it. There's no spiritual foundation behind it. Even though they are using the, the name of the most high, 
Hell, a lot of people who know different cults and everything have used the name of God and whatnot and draw people in. But what they was into was far from uh, dealing with the creator, right? Hell, I've been in some of them groups. <laughs> I've been there. Uh, but um, that's what I'm seeing. That's what we're seeing. So we say we, we want to be, what, what we're trying to do here is try to present the information from the Torah that's bringing people back to righteousness. That's it. Because if, if we, we, we look at this thing, we're constantly hollering about the black this, the black that, right? And all the black this, and all the ways talking about with somebody else. And that's why I hear a lot when I turn on these videos and I don't even try to listen to them. Well, I used to would try to even listen to keep up with what they're saying. I, now I just don't, I just don't even waste my damn energy no more. I promise y'all, I can't do it. I can't do it. But, but, but when they're out here talking and, 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 and saying a lot of the things about uh, the black man is, well, actually the white man is, they're always talking about what somebody else, you know, the racial conflict and all of that. We know there's evil ass people all out there. We know there's some evil ass white folks, y'all. Excuse my language, y'all. We know there is some evil ass white folks out there. Just as well as there's some evil ass black folk, Chinese folk, hell, whoever folk. There's evil ass people all over the planet. No matter what skin complexion they are, no matter what nationality, uh, ethnicity, there's evil ass people on this planet. We understand that. Yes, it is. I tell y'all again, I went under two different teachings. I was under, I've studied for the, I, went, I didn't ever join the Nation of Islam, but I studied with the Nation of Islam. Uh, I liked the, the Elijah Muhammad teaching back in the days. But Elijah Muhammad taught that there was the blonde haired, blue eyed devil, taught, always taught that the blonde haired, blue eyed devil. But I also had another teacher that I ran across years later after that, after my days of Islam, of uh, someone who was named of Dr. Malachi Z. York. And he had a book which was entitled, and he had lectures on it, which was entitled The Black Devil. Yeah, we see you, Black Devil. Yeah, he talked about the Black Devil. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, goddamn. I've been so I've been hearing about this white devil so much. Damn, you mean there's a black devil? Yeah. So yeah, he talked about the black devil. So <laughs> so yeah. So that, that's what I'm just saying. There's evil ass people all over. Now. It don't matter. It doesn't matter what the we but but here's our thing again. But this movement constantly keep talking about the, what somebody else is doing, what somebody else is evil and they're wicked. But damn, y'all, are y'all not looking out into the so-called black communities and seeing what's happening? Now, we should be teaching thou should not steal. Are y'all have you not have y'all not been looking at all these smashing and grabbing and things that have been going on in our communities in these damn places? Man, I live here in the city of Memphis. Boy, I tell y'all the truth. They've been tearing this city, place called City Gear up. They've been, man, knocking them folks, knocking them out the frame, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying? They've been hitting them folks hard. Hard. I don't know how they hadn't closed down yet. I know their insurance rate ought to be high as I don't know what from all them smashing grabbings. And, and that's just not them, but a lot of places. This is happening not just in Memphis, all over. Yeah. And we see, when we see these things happening, we see us folk. Y'all know what I mean by us folk, skin folk, right? Yeah, that's what I see. And that ain't the media line. That ain't the media line because, hey, a lot of us, we we know this. Hell, we got social media now. Yeah, the media just don't lie. We ain't got to worry about mainstream television. Put it out. Hell, we got social media. And y'all know how we love to put things on social media. So, yeah. So, it ain't the media line. Hell, social media is just the independent news. So, we see it all. We know who's doing what. Come on now. The shootings that goes on in our hoods. In the hood, USA. Hell, I stay in what they call, I don't know if you want to call it hood, I, I, whatever it is. Hell, I stay in war zones. It seemed to be don't somewhat calm down a little bit now, but it been in what damn war zones. Yeah. Shootings after shootings. It's that, man, it sounds like Iraq, Baghdad, somewhere. A lot of the shootings they're going. It ain't shooting no little pistols no more. No, 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 no. They got these assault rifles and they going crazy with it, man. Um, so we have to be teaching our people, so-called skin folks, you need to be telling, tell them about getting their act together, getting their self away from sin. That's what you need to be doing. Because let me, let me, let me get y'all something. Let's go, let's, let's go here to the book of Psalms right fast. Let me get here to the book of Psalms. I have my Tehillim, the book of Tehillim here. Let's go to the 50. And I want to tell y'all what David, brother David King, David says, and uh, we go to Psalms 51, right? Psalms 51, and I get started, verse 15. This is what Brother David says 
not more Ray David, Israel, y'all, but King David says right here. And he says right here in the book of Psalms uh, 51 and 15, he says, I will teach transgressors, transgressors your way and sinners shall repent unto you. Yeah, just David said this. And that is one of our main goals that we have to do, Israel. That's why he said he chose us to be a nation of ministers or priests unto Yah. And he not uh, chose you to be a special people unto himself, not just to be uh, uh, picking you, but he chose you with a mission. He chose Israel with a design. I mean, the divine mission. Mm -hmm. Just didn't pick you. Like I said, I didn't just pick you because you were the smaller people out of everybody else. I picked you because I chose you to do something. Number one, to keep my covenant with your ancestors, my promise to your ancestors. But I, I got some. I got. I want you some. I got a job. I need you to do Israel. Yeah, I got a job that I need you to do. Check. So, but anyway, one more time, David said, and this is what we're all supposed to be doing as Israel, right? Um, it says, I will teach transgressors your way. David saying that he will teach the trick. Because this Psalms 51 is a is a uh, is a prayer uh what david was talking about uh being repentant of his sins and y'all talk about his showing how he was um uh remorseful for his his sins and his transgressions so when you're reading this right here this is a great one you can actually read yourself and when you want to if you do fall into any sin you can also uh basically say the same prayer to the most high use it as a prayer for your sins as well but this is what, what David was saying in 15, brothers and sisters, and we should. This is our job. This is our duty to, as it says in Isaiah, what we, we always say in Isaiah, what was it, 58, uh, cry aloud, spare not. And so we have to show our people their sins. So we, it's just my opinion here, Liberation Tabernacle of Yah, which is that we, we put more, try to put more emphasis on what we should be showing our people well, you claim to be Israel, black melanated. We ain't worried about nobody else, what they're doing. Well, we supposed to, but we instead of me focusing on, because you're claiming to be the children of Israel. That's all my focus is. If you're claiming to be the children of Israel, you need to be looking at and, and, and trying to get your people back on track. I'm not the hell with talking about what everybody else is doing, what they doing. If the white man ain't doing this, the white man ain't. I gives a damn about what he's doing. Right. It matters, though, what he's doing, because I have to be mindful of what he's doing. But right now, as far as us as Israel, are we not supposed to be getting ourselves back on track, getting ourselves out of sin? Because y'all, we don't we don't espouse this here at Liberation Tabernacle of y'all. I know a lot of y'all know this by now that we don't espouse this. We in we in captivity doctrine. We don't we don't espouse that here. We don't teach that doctrine here. We don't talk about we under no curse. We don't teach that here. We don't teach that here. Because we're saying that we are, we are still under curse. So something that our ancestors did, we said that our ancestors did 400 and some odd years ago, and we're still talking about, well, damn, y'all. So y'all trying to say we under a generational curse? Y'all believe in generational curse? I don't. I don't, I don't teach that either. I know y'all like, damn, what do y'all teach, man? No, we don't teach us. See, we go deep in, and we go in and understand the timelines and who was what was said to who at what particular time but no so y'all said everybody responsible for their own sin so if hell what my ancestors did 400 years ago 300 years ago i'm not responsible for that now that's according to torah now you can argue with torah if you want to right you can argue with the torah that's what the torah said i didn't see it but one thing here let i want to go to the book of dabarim right let me see i need to pull this up on let me pull my um my Bible up here. I'm, I got it right here, hard copy, but let me pull this up on my screen. I want to show y'all something here. Yeah. Dabarin. We go to the book of Dabarin, chapter 10. And let me see here. One second, brothers and sisters. I should have pre did this earlier because I was thinking about reading it just from the book. The book itself. So 10 and 17. Okay, where are we? 10 and verse 17. Let me highlight this, y'all, for one second. Give me a second. And highlight. Bam. Okay, let me let me screen share this right fast. Okay, what am I doing? Get it right, all right, y'all. Get it right. Okay, let me see here, brothers and sisters. Let me let me screen share this. I want to show y'all something. 
as Deuteronomy, Davarim, Davarim, uh, chapter 10, verse 17. Yes, sir. That's Davarim 10 and 17. And we will read here, show y'all something. Now, you know, it has Adonai here. Y'all know I don't really use that word Adonai, but here we go. Um, it says, for Yahuwah or Yahweh, your Allahim is Allahim of, you know, you got the word God there, and Lord of Lords, and great and mighty and awesome power, who has no favorites and accept no bribes. Let's stop right there for a second. Now, this is, I forgot here, y'all. I got to tell y'all this one. This is my complete Jewish study Bible right here. But it says, Yah has no favorites, and he accepts no bribes. Because it says, what it says, the Most High Yah, he is our power, and he's the power of all the so-called, as they say, the mighty ones of God's, right? He's the great and the mighty and awesome power. He has no favorites. So y'all will say, like some of y'all will teach that, well, man, we are his people, man. Like like they use um, Psalms. Uh, is it Psalms? It's Psalms of Proverbs. Psalms, and they try to use that and say, man, the Yah is not dealing with anybody else. He's only dealing with uh, Israel. Y'all remember that one? I, was, I think it's, what was it? it's, it's Psalms. Uh, let me see off the top of my head. Let me see. I think it's one. Um, man, I think this one. got to pull it up. But yeah, they, they try to say that's dealing with, that's not dealing with anybody else. Y'all is only dealing with the nation of Israel. But we already know that's not what that actually said. Uh, that's not what they're saying. That's, that's taking it out of context. Let me see. I got to find it. I'm not supposed to be running on top of the head. But yeah, well, we look at here and it says that he has no favorite. So we know that y'all, uh, 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 it, it really don't. Like I said, and because people want to make it, they got to make it like he ain't dealing with no, he's just only dealing with Israel. Like he ain't dealing with nobody else on this planet. No other nations, no other so-and-so. He only favored the Israelites. Well, why would he say that we're supposed to be a light unto the nations? If he only dealing with Israel only. But let's proceed. Let's finish reading this right here. Let's verse 18. It says, he secures justice. Talking about the Most High Yah. This is what Moses talking about Yah. He said, he secured justice for orphans and widows. He loved foreigners, giving him food and clothing. Therefore, you are to love the foreigners since you were foreigners in the land of Egypt. Now, I tell you, I'm going to tell y'all what they're going to do right here. If they look at this. Most of them, them camps and things, they look at this. Well, they're going to say that word foreigners right here. I'm telling you, the, 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 the flea flicker, the three-card Monty, whatever they call it, Monty, they're going to say these foreigners right here is Israelites who were scattered and um, you know, living in foreign land and all of this type of stuff. But wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Hold up. You got to stop them. Don't let them play that damn game because where are you reading this from? Where are you reading this from? This is the book of Dabarine of Deuteronomy. We're no damn scattered yet. So how could he be talking about Israel? Don't see, I'm telling you, y'all don't let them play y'all with this game. See, let's talk about Israel. That's, that's, that, that ain't talking about nobody else, no other nations or whatever. That's talking about Israel's, the nations who, I mean, you know, the Israelites who were scattered. No, it wasn't. Because remember now, this is the book of Dabarim. Moses is still giving out these commandments. He's still giving out these decrees, these orders. And this was what Moses was saying to the children of Israel, right? He still was establishing these commandments, these misvotes. So in here, when he says, talking about Yah, secures justice to the orphans and the widows, and he loved the foreigners because he said he don't play no favorites. He accepts no bribes. And he also, he says, he gives them food and he gives. So Yah does still provide for the foreigners just as well he provided for the nation of Israel. Don't let them play no games. Don't let them play no games. So this is what our thing here is. We're talking about the, the tabernacle. This is what we're saying, man. Righteousness. Y'all y'all want, look, we're supposed to be preaching righteousness to the, out the nation. That is our goal. We're not here to, um, and that's our purpose here today, is we're not here to promote uh, racial identity. It's, 
like I said, we've been there, we've done that, we don't do that. We don't, this is not our goal here. That is not what we're here to do at Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. So if you see this video and y'all see our videos, you're thinking that's what you're gonna listen to when you come here to deliver. I'm I'm sorry. You're gonna be you you, you might as well find you another channel because we're not going to espouse those same damn doctrines that you hear. You might as well go and find the ISUPK. You might as well go and find I don't GMS somebody because we ain't gonna we don't we don't teach that over here. I don't give a damn what you know if it's a Tanakh because there there's also Tanakh only that that teach a lot of this racial identity doctrine. That's not what we I ain't got time for that, man. I don't have time for that. I've been, I, I, I spent my, I've been 30 some odd years in the black liberation movement, teaching black liberation theology, believing in the black liberation theology. I don't have time for that no damn more. I don't have time for all that foolishness no more because hell, they beating up on each other's asses instead of, you know, and they beating up on each other, talking about black power, the black this and black that, but y'all always dogging each other's ass out. So I ain't got time for that damn foolishness. I'm about trying to do what? Learn how to live a righteous and prosperous life according to the creator that he give us instruction. That's my goal. With all of this damn, like I said, crime and foolishness that we see that goes on in the black community, I don't have time to try to worry about nobody else. I'm trying to get us straight, us folk, right? Skin folk. Try to tell you, as David say, stop sinning, man. Stop sinning, brothers. Stop sinning, sisters. Sisters, stop your whoring. Stop your your thotting all on the damn showing your, your your backside all on social medias and stuff. Stop that damn foolishness. Stop it. It's it's, it's come on now. So let me stop screen sharing here. That's not our purpose. That's not what what is uh, um liberation tabernacle of y'all. That's not our purpose. That's not what we're here to do to teach about racial identity. We give a damn. We've been in all that. Like more Ray David Israel always trying to tell y'all, man, brother, we, we, we was in the, we, we, we was in the religion of Islam. We, we, you know, we both were Sunni, but we studied the nation of Islam. Well, David was actually a, a member of the nation of Islam. But like he said, not under Farrakhan, but he was a member of the nation of Islam. Hell, I studied, I've been to the, I used to go to the mosque and I studied with them. Now I was under Warren Dean, uh, Iman Wam Dean Muhammad, under, under his teachings, but uh, but I studied with the nation. I believed in all that crazy foolishness. And I told y'all we believed in this stuff. The white man, the devil. man. We ain't got listen. All of this stuff we're seeing that again that's happening in the black community. We have to be focused, Israel, because here we go. We want to teach racial identity, right? We want to teach racial identity. Well, check this out. Racial identity. Let's get into it. And we say that Israelites were black. We use this title black, a word black, uh, as they say, status. We read throughout the Tanakh where the children of Israel with their black selves were hard head, stiff neck damn people. Weren't they not? Were they not? As Isaiah, I mean, Ezekiel, as, as brother Ezekiel, son of man, I'm sending you to these people, got the two. Ask him, as Ezekiel, he know doggone well. They were the hard head, stiff neck damn people, just like our people are today. You can't tell us nothing. You can't tell black folks a damn thing. That was a video, by the way. I'm going to even give you all an example. That was a video that I seen on Twitter. And and, and there was a sister in a restaurant. And, and it was two European, uh, ladies of European descent, as y'all might say, Edomites, which we don't teach that here again either, but of European descent. Uh, in a restaurant, and I guess they told the lady uh, to quiet down or whatever. She was on the phone. I guess she was talking loud. Y'all know how some of down people can be, man. They do. They get loud as hell. I'd be some out sometime. I'd be here. I'm like, God damn, you ain't got no manners. Damn, I'm about to hear your conversation, but I don't say nothing, but just what you know, y'all be thinking. But anyway, they said some to it, and Lord, what they say, y'all, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Boy, she got ignorant. She got ignorant, y'all. I got I got to talk country, y'all. I'm on this one here. Yeah, she got real ignorant and started talking loud. You don't tell me. Damn. She started screaming and everything. I scream. I'm, I'm talking louder. Just real 
like my, my like my mother saying, "May the peace and blessings be upon her soul, on her soul." Like she just say, just showed her natural black ass. Yeah, just showed her natural black ass. Just in it was just, it's just it was just embarrassing. You know, them, them folk white folk didn't even say nothing else to you. They just kept on doing what they were doing. She just showed her natural black ass and just only embarrassed her damn self. And that's what our people see. That's what I'm saying, brothers. We're going to talk about something. Let's focus on that. Tell our people how to act, how to behave them damn selves. And it'd be a damn shame. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all seen it. It's a damn shame how some of our people act in damn public. And you wonder why some people don't want you around them. Hell, I don't blame them. I don't want some of us around me. Shit. I'm going to be honest. Me and Dave have been having this conversation. We've been talking about this. I don't want some of you motherfuckers around me. I didn't cuss that time, y'all. I didn't use profanity. I don't want to be around some of you damn folks, man. Some of our people, skin folks. Because your damn behavior. Because your damn behavior. So, no, Israel, I mean, I, I kept saying Israel. Um, <laughs> Liberation Tabernacle of Yah, we ain't into all that, man. We, we, we not, we are not, hell no, hell no. We're not a part of that so-called Hebrew Israelite movement because we see there's a greater purpose. There's a greater purpose when it comes down. Okay, yeah, yeah, shalom, shalom, brother. They appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it, brother. They tuned in, y'all. There's a greater purpose that, excuse me, that we have to deal with the Torah, the Torah is a wonderful, I mean, I mean, a wonderful, y'all. I mean, a wonderful, like, like Brother uh, King David said again, y'all, the law, the, 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 the law is perfect. The law is perfect, restoring the soul. It truly is. It, it, it's, I mean, tell you, I'm telling y'all, it is beautiful when you understand it. And when you get into everything about dealing with the Torah and understanding it, and I'm going to tell y'all something, this book right here. I showed y'all this before. This book right here, Torah for Dummies. A lot of y'all need to get this one. A lot of y'all do really need to get this one. Now, I'm going to be honest. I got to say this. I didn't know. I just got it. I didn't know it, but it all, what all it entail when I got it. But I do have to say it's talking about now. It, it gives you a lot of breakdowns, everything that deal with the Torah. But some things it talk about rabbinical um judaism it might talk about orator and all that hell you can just skip that part but you it's, it's still for those of you who are new to all of this it still be something good for you to know because like dealing with rabbinical judaism you have you should know about what they believe and how they came to you know come about about what they call orator it's still but i'm saying to get this one because uh let me try to see did it have a price on it no don't have a price on the back of it but anyway, I got it at a place called Book of Millions. I don't know, I don't know where y'all can get it on the line somewhere. But reading I say get this because it's it has a lot of good lessons to tell you about what Torah is about, the different uh things about Torah. Now, one thing Torah deals with is civic laws, civil laws, moral laws ritual laws or we use this title ritual laws um and when i listen to a lot of things sometimes from my brothers and sisters that's teaching in these camps and so forth and these these bodies israelite bodies i don't hear things teaching us like that how to deal if we have a a civil matter somebody a brother or sister owe me some money or something like that what should i do how to deal with that according to Torah. I don't hear classes or lectures on that. Maybe I'll be missing them. Maybe I'm missing them. I, I don't know, y'all. But I don't hear things going into things like that, dealing with civil matters. Um, and what was it? Uh, moral? Oh, shoot. We sure hell need to be talking about some moral codes and some moral um, laws or instructions. How to live a moral life. Like I said, don't you know one that talks about, um, you know, Israel women shouldn't be out here prostituting, uh huh, being temple whores and things of that nature. We need to be telling Sukiana, uh, the, the the young woman they call herself sexy red. Uh, we need to be letting them know, hey, you shouldn't be, uh, you know, out here prostituting. You shouldn't be thotting. You shouldn't be 
Uh, Y'all know the words to use, your terminologies. We got to teach them, brothers and sisters. This is what we should be talking about. Instead of talking about the goddamn white man, it's the damn devil. Hell, listen here. What, like I said, it's, you know, people been talking about that forever. But again, here is when you say that, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back to this book. I don't want to get off course because I want to mention something about that right fast. I've been thinking about that. But when you go into here, it breaks down a lot of things. Um, trying to get to some great points here. It's like even talking about uh, observing the holy days in the Torah and the time that you do that. Um, Chance say, yeah, it goes through that. Like as people who's just coming into this faith, they need to know how to do these things because we got Purim uh, be coming up very, very soon. So you might need to know how to uh what you do in the time of Purim. How do you what do, what do you do? Uh like studying Torah. Here's something, a section called studying Torah with translations, commentaries, and other resources. And Brother Dave always, uh, Brother Moray David always bring this up a lot. We talk about here the 248 positive commandments in the Torah versus the 365 negative commandments in the Torah. And it has things like that on here. Now, on Safari, y'all go, if anybody who's familiar with the app called Safari, they have that in the, uh, I think it's in the Mishnah Torah, part of the Mishnah Torah. And they have all of those commandments and things is on there. And they deal with that, right? So these are some of the things that our brothers and sisters, we need to be really emphasizing a lot of this to our brothers and sisters about, especially, man, about dealing with those 248 positive commandments. They need to be knowing these things because we need some positivity, don't we, brothers and sisters? With all this negative bull crap that we're seeing out here today, we sure in the hell do need some positivity instead of having and seeing all this 365 negative things that our brothers and sisters are out here doing and, and breaking hell or really just following along with these 365 negative commandments but you know this book goes into a lot of things so we have a lot of things you we, we can be getting into um and teaching our people like far as because people always we teach you got to get back to the law we got to get back to the law we got to teach you what law okay how what are you doing what are you, just saying we got to get back to the law is one thing do we say this we got to teach Torah we got to teach Torah. okay well what 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 part of Torah you do? Tell me what am I supposed to do? Um, if, like I said, a brother owe me money and he ain't giving me my money. What did I supposed to do? According to Torah, how do I supposed to handle this situation according to Israelite law? Now, some Bibles might—I mean, some things y'all are seeing here—they might say Jewish law. But how do I handle that situation, right? Now we know we don't have cows and horses. Well, some of y'all probably do live on a farm, but <laughs> but as far as in these modern times as well, how do we look at the Torah and look at some of those things that um how it speaks about in that day and time? How do we configure it to our day and time to utilize the law of then to our lives now? How do we go about doing that? How do we go about figuring things out like that? This is very important because we scream Torah. We got to get back to the Torah, but 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 I, sometimes I don't hear people teaching really t teaching Torah. I don't hear them teaching talking Torah, talking the essence of the Torah, going into it like you uh, you know. And I, I hate to really just compare us to maybe the Jewish community, but that's why you see them and them. They have they and them uh, uh, what they call y yeshivas. Is that right, brother David? Yeshivas. They and them learning Torah laws all damn day long. That's why people, y'all hear people say the man, the best lawyers are the Jews. Y'all hear people say that? Hell, I man, I got me a damn Jewish lawyer. Because they what? They study law. They learn how to do what? In law, you learn how to do what? Basically argue the point. So they learn how. That's why when they be in that Talmud, y'all hear about the Talmud, they argue, you know, about the different things. They're debating somewhat about the different, uh, or, uh, they, they call it oral laws or different things. So we have to be real sharp and learning a lot of this thing because like dietary laws, dietary laws, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I had to, and now I've been on a di uh, lot of diet, but on a restrictive health thing because I've been having a lot of a lot of chest pain. So I can't drink nothing but 
which I should have been doing anyway, but I can't drink nothing but water, stay away from damn fried food and uh, spicy food and all of this type of stuff. Now, I, I bet it's one thing we know about not eating pork, but it's deeper than that. It's deeper than just that. There's a lot of things that's just, just you can stop eating pork, but there's a lot of other things that's happening with our people, health reasons. So we had to learn, get into talk about the dietary laws. As I'm just looking on this book here, and it's talking about, um, like I said, the, the the 300, I mean, excuse me, the 248 positive commandments, such as relating, here's some of it, it says relating under this chapter right here that we can be learning these things and really they're having classes on teaching our people and talking on besides always racial identity. Yes. Cause that, how's that helping? How has that have been helping y'all? I'm asked that question. How's that been helping right now? How well they've been working out? How well have that been working out? Mm -hmm. Since we've been talking about this, all this racial identity, because <laughs> let me see, I see my brother Moray Dave said right fast. He said, "Con, they be better than." <laughs> oh shit! I don't know. I need. To, I'm gonna read it out anyway, y'all. My brother said that he talked about the Jewish lawyer. He said, "Hell, they be better than Malik Zulu Sabaz as a lawyer." <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. They always they be cutting up on y'all, man. They be cutting up. Yes, sir. But he right though. I lie. He right. He right. I can't deny it. They always. I gotta get me a Jewish lawyer. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but going into this, okay, we have the Torah. There's this points. How do we relate to the Most High? How do we relate to the Most High? How do we go into the Torah and find out how do we supposed to be having this, this special relationship? Is this that we're special people unto himself? How do we go in and find out just how to have this special relationship with Yah? Hmm? Can we, it, that's what's supposed to be the goal. Well, having this special relationship with our creator, how do I go by doing that? I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelite community. I need to know this. How do I go by doing that? Can y'all tell me how? Because just telling me that that I'm Israel and the Israelites were black, that's not enough. That don't, that don't mean nothing. We can see that again because when we read the Torah again, we read the Tanakh again, and y'all say the Israelites were black, that wasn't enough to stop the Israelites from going into damn captivity. Y'all say y'all came over here on the damn slave ship, which we don't teach Deuteronomy 28, 6 to 8, as saying that's how we got here. But, again, but anyway, that didn't stop your black ass from coming over here in slavery. That didn't stop you from even saying now you in captivity. Your blackness ain't stopping your ass from getting dogged out thrown in jail and then your blackness ain't saving you. Your blackness is not going to save you. Just because you claiming to be an Israelite ain't going to save you. It's, it's going to take more than that. There's people who don't even claim to be Israelites. There are some people who, oh boy, doing, living righteous according to Torah that ain't even claiming to be an Israelite. Don't even ain't hot and they ain't black and they not so-called black. They of other ethnicities. And while I'm on this point about being black, before I get back to this, this is something y'all got to stop this foolishness. I got to take my damn glass out and look at y'all with this one here. Y'all need to stop this ignorant ass stuff. And excuse me, I got to get like more Ray David on this one, y'all. I got to get flat footed with this one. Y'all need to stop this ignorant ass stuff of telling folks that's, 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 that's surely straight out what we call, what y'all calling black. They are what y'all call black. But just because they light-skinned it, as y'all say, light-skinned it, a lighter hue, telling them they need to stop calling themselves Israelites because they may be mixed with, let y'all say, European, uh, the Edomite blood. Hell, and telling them they need to stop calling themselves Israelites because they light skinned and have, you know, what y'all say, I almost look white. Stop that damn foolishness, man. Stop that ignorant ass stuff. That's why I'm talking about this racial identity, boy. Y'all need to stop that ignorant ass stuff. And excuse me, elders, and excuse me, y'all, but I got to, that, 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 that irks my damn nerve on that one right there, though. Y'all need to stop that foolishness because there's, there's a couple of things with that one. Number one is you don't have the damn authority and you don't have the goal to tell who in hell who can't, who, who can't serve y'all. 
You don't have that authority. You're not the creator. You can't say who can serve Yah and who can't. You can't tell nobody because I don't give a damn if they white, Chinese, Hispanic, whatever. But, oh, y'all accept Hispanics. My bad. I forgot all. I forgot that, that, that damn fake ass way of tribe chart. But anyway, you tell y'all to tell a light skinned person that stop calling themselves Israelites, but y'all picking folks all over the damn chart and all over the globe and y'all throwing them on the damn chart and saying they Israelites. But somebody, just because they got a lighter skin, a lighter hue, and we know we know they black, what we call black. And y'all will tell them to stop calling themselves an Israelite to stop that. Y'all, you stop calling yourself an Israelite because I'm, I got I got to tell the damn truth, y'all. What they say, y'all tell the truth and shame the devils. Yeah, a lot of us who around here calling ourselves Israelite, you don't even know you don't know if you know goddamn it. You don't know if you a damn Israelite or not. You don't know if you a bloodline Israelite or not. You don't know. Hell, you don't know. You don't. You say you. We we are basically saying, some of us, we're just saying we are because somebody don't told you about Deuteronomy 28 and Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and all this slave ship. You saying that you have no damn physical idea that you are an Israelite. So you can't tell nobody else who well, they ain't no Israelite when hell you really don't know you are no damn Israelite, your own goddamn self. So stop that ignorant damn stuff. Because number one, you cannot tell nobody that they have they don't have the right to serve the creator just because of their skin complexion. You don't have the right. You can't stop nobody from serving y'all. I don't give a goddamn what they look like. If a guy damn it came out here on a damn spaceship and they, like we say, a green damn alien, you don't have the right to tell them that they cannot serve the creator. You can't, you don't. Because yo, some of y'all asses ain't really serving the creator. You're not serving the most high. And I'm going to give you an example. I listen to some of y'all. I listen, I've been checking out some, like I be nosy, y'all. I listen to some of their things. There are some damn brothers and sisters who claim to be the number one Israelite, Israelite group out here, right? They claim to be the Israel, number one Israelite out here. But they music, when they come on their music, they play their music, right? I can't tell the difference if, if, if that music is from... Uh, let me think of somebody, y'all, because I can't even know all these damn rappers not here today. I can't, I don't know if they uh young thug uh 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 yo Gotti. I'm trying to think of somebody, y'all. Hell, that some of these damn trap rappers, I, I don't know the difference between Nate music and some of these damn gangster rappers and trap music rappers. Because why? They claiming to be Israelites and telling y'all they got to bring you back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. But in their music, they calling women Bs, Hs. They talking about putting switches on Glocks. They talking about shooting people. Wait a minute now. Hold up. Wait a minute. God damn. Y'all Israelites? And y'all doing that? Y'all, yes, they doing that, y'all. Oh, yeah, there's some Israelite group that's out here that's doing that. Mm-hmm. I listen to that music. I'm like, what the? I be, I, I, I promise y'all, there's a, there's a down here in the Memphis they call it Hot 107. I promise. I be thinking it's on Hot 107. I'm like, what the hell is this, man? I'm like, damn, are this Israelites? Yeah, yes, sir. Oh man, talk about women bad. God, to be more careful. Talk about women bad, sisters bad. B's, these B's, these H's. And y'all want somebody to follow y'all. And all the reason that a lot of y'all do have the following that a lot of y'all do because y'all have calling people, y'all catching people again with that racial identity. Y'all y'all feed them that bull crap that what somebody have done to them. And y'all got people who caught up in their emotion of a lot of stuff. That's why some people leave some people do leave because most of y'all camps, y'all follow so-called Christ anyway. Y'all ain't number damn Christians anyway. Don't tell nobody we said that. Y'all Christians anyway. So it's easy for them to, to, to transfer over from what y'all teaching and going straight to the church because they get sick of y'all ass. Because some people joining, they ain't just joining. The racial identity sometimes pull them in. But some people are truly trying to seek y'all. They trying to speak, uh, uh, seek 
a spiritual path, trying to seek y'all spiritually. And when they get sick of the out of y'all, y'all with that foolishness and see it, y'all are truly not a spiritual uh, uh, movement, they pass on, they move away from that. But y'all been teaching them Yahweh Shah and Christ, and that kind of attracted them anyway, because some of them probably left the church because they a lot of stuff they didn't uh, uh, get out of that church they were seeing with some foolishness. But y'all was teaching that we are the true Israelites. They were like, yeah, okay, we are the Israelites, okay. And they joined y'all for some of them reasons. But they moved the hell away from y'all. But now some reasons that, and I say y'all need to stop all that foolishness telling folks they 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 not Israelites because of their skin complexion. Because here's a lot of things y'all do at the same goddamn time. And I hate to see this. Y'all run a lot of people away. Y'all turn people away from dealing with the Torah and a lot of things, point blank, period. And here's my, and I'm going to say it again. Y'all turn people, deter people, like even saying you can't be an Israelite because you light-skinned. You don't know how that person is spiritually or what it is. And some people, you go turn them away all the way. They go right back out here in the street life. You go right back out here in the street life. And you're supposed to be here to try to say to people. You're here supposed to be to try to say to people. Yep, yep, brother. That's that's one of them. <laughs> hey, brother said, yep, yep. And that's 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 exactly who it is, Dave. I gotta say today, especially ISUPK. Damn, they music right there, brother. That music right there, brother said, man, they brothers, they sound like play or fly. Yes, sir. I couldn't think of no other rapper name. Yeah. Show in the hell do, bro. Sound like there's some of that goddamn yo got it. Or whatever that shit is, man. You know, excuse my language. It's damn ridiculous. So, no, we ain't affiliated with none of that, brothers and sisters. We not affiliated with none of that at all. We not affiliated with that movement at goddamn all. And excuse my language. I'm sound like some of them tonight, brothers and sisters. Y'all excuse me. Um, But there's a lot of this more to this Torah that we have to get back inside of teaching. We have to teaching against that damn idolatry, number one. Yeah. And that's where they have our people in idolatry. They have people in our damn idolatry. And not all of them. Now, we talk about the camps, but, and even with some things here, um, even Tanakh only, there are some things that I see even with Tanakh only congregations and groups. They're still with all of this stuff. I, it's some congregation that I used to like to listen to that was Tanakh only. I had to stop listening to. I had to stop listening to. Because they still with all of that. I'm, I'm not, it's, it's no growth. It's, it, it wasn't no growth there for me. It wasn't no growth there. Like I said, I, I, I've, I've been to all of that. I've, I've been walked through that path. Me and Dave, like I said, we walked down to that black liberation path. We're, we're getting older, man. We want, we're looking how to relate to Yah spiritually, connect to our creator. See, once I get connected to the universal creator, we said the most high Yah, I, all of the other stuff, I, I I I don't need I don't worry about that. I don't give a damn about the whoever else. Y'all said Edomites or the white man, the Chinese man. I don't give a damn about none of them. I don't give a damn about none of them. I'm too busy trying to do what? Live my best life for Yah. And I know Yah is my protector. He's my God. I don't give a damn what they try to do. Don't we say that they, 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 you know, Yah's my, my protector. He's my God. He's my shepherd. I shall not want. So I ain't, I'm not giving a, I don't give a damn about what they doing. And, and number one, that's what I've supposed to been saying, getting into. And when you're trying to say that, well, we ain't waste, like, they, and they are trying to say this day for day, Moray. Like I hear them talking to the Christians all the time when they try to use now, you know, we don't subscribe to this one, y'all. But when we just talk about that, we're supposed to be the light into the nations, though. We do use this part. But like when Christians be saying, uh, John 316, <laughs> God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Now, when they use that right there, right? Y'all yeah, just trying to say the white man. Y'all just trying to say the white man. And and when we talk about the other portions, well, we say that we're supposed to be the light unto the nations. That means all the nations. We don't give a damn who they are. We don't give a damn. We're supposed to be a light. Israel was supposed to be the light unto all the nations on the planet Earth. Y'all trying to say the white man. But let's 
I got to ask this question. I got to ask this question with that one. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Think about it. What's wrong with that? If y'all are saying he's wicked, he's evil, and y'all saying that, that's what he is. He's rebellious, he's hard-headed, he's all this. Shouldn't you want to give him the word of Yah and teach him Yah's, the most high the way, I mean, the most high Yah's way, and maybe that will um, deter him from being so damn evil, wicked, as y'all say? We're not saying that here. But it, would you, would just, I'm, just, I'm just asking a question. Do you think... That would deter him if he learned the right way of life. See, it's like if, 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 if nobody ever told you, if nobody teaching you the right way, it's like a child. If you're not raising and rearing up that child, what do they say, y'all? Raise a child up in the way he, he should go. Teach a child in the way he should go and they would never depart from it. See, if you're not teaching them the right way they should go, they just think, some people think, man, hey, well, I, I always thought that was the right thing to do. I didn't know. Ain't nobody never said nothing. And nobody never said nothing to me about it. it was wrong. If you don't try to show them the right way or the error as they ways, I mean, you, you, you can't blame them, right? Could you blame them? Because like I hear again, Psalms 51 and 15, I will teach transgressors your ways. So if he's a transgressor, is it not our duty? Is it not our job to teach? The so-called white man. David did. I ain't talking about more red David is real, y'all. I got to always say that. We talk about King David did. Don't we read it? Is it not written in the Tanakh where David went out and he actually, man, forced the, the Torah on the Edomites? Is it not read, y'all? Is that not part of the history? Huh? How do you think they learned that Y'all claim, y'all, that's what y'all call them, Edomites. How do y'all think as y'all say, the Edomites, how y'all think they learned the Torah? Hmm? How do y'all think they learned it? David, King David, yeah. He said, he read it. He, he told them, he forced it on them, made them, goddamn it, study Torah. But as he say, I will teach transgressors your way, y'all, and sinners shall repent unto you. They shall, once we teach the people, the error of their ways, brothers and sisters, and let them know what they're doing is wrong by Yah, then they will repent. That's what we want the people to repent. This is right here where I have the Mishnah Torah. The Mishnah Torah. I just bought it. You know, I like to just see. I'm nosy. I told y'all I'm nosy. I like to see what is what. This is by, uh, what was the name? What is it called? Maimonides, what they call Ranban. And this is Teshuva. And I got this, like I said, during the Day of Atonement. I bought this, you know, Day of Atonement. I want to know how to atone for my sins and all of this. But this was this whole thing about repentance, turning back. And that's what it's talking about, uh, Teshuva, uh, meaning to turn back, uh, get away, you know, from your negativity and get away from sins, transgressions. And that is, like I said again, that is a, a very key that we need to be doing. So if they are transgressors, we need to be teaching them how to not be transgressors anymore. And don't y'all think the planet would be awfully a better, I mean, I mean, what do you tell y'all, heaven on earth, if we were teaching the people not to transgress anymore? I mean, you know, in, in, in Judaism, they teach about a messianic age. They teach about this messianic age, this utopia coming in, where it's going to be just peace on earth. Not right that they used to talk about a person who was coming and served served Judah and Jews and Judaism. They still say it, but some now they are saying they no longer looking for an individual. It's a messianic age. It's an age, a certain age, and certain thing. Everybody's gonna know who Yah is. They're gonna serve Yah. Uh, it's gonna be peace. Boy, is that not what we want? Now that's nice, there, ain't it? Everybody just serving Yah, serving the Creator is just peace. No more wars and no more none of that stuff. 
That sound good to me, y'all. I don't know about y'all. That sound good to me. What about you, brother Moray Day? That sound good to you, brother. That sound good to me. No more, no more act no fool out here. I mean, no more nothing. No more smashing, grabbing. We seen. I mean, just, just what is that, y'all? Peace, love, and harmony. Ain't that, ain't that good, y'all? And that's what we want. But this is here talking about the repentance to Shuva. How we have to repent, turn back to Yah to Shuva. They said mean to return. That's what we should be trying to stress, emphasize, returning back to Yah. That's when you even go into the book of Ezekiel 18. And the 18, let's get there right fast, brothers. And, 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 and show that Yah said that, hey man, he don't want, he don't want to destroy no one. He don't want to destroy. The wicked ones, man. I mean, you know, he wanted they got it because they, he repent. But let me go here. Let's do, let me see here. Uh, we go to Ezekiel chapter 18, and I'm gonna just drop down to just read 20, 23 right fast. I tell you what, let me pull it back up. Let me pull it back up on the screen. Let me pull it, let me show y'all. I gotta show y'all. Ain't just gonna read it from here. I, you know, I always gotta try to show y'all. You know, want to show you what it says, show and tell. That's the game we play. My bad. I got to say, lady singing and brother David, y'all. David, brother David, Moray David, he the singer, y'all, of the other, other group, y'all. I'm not the singer. That's Moray David right there. But we at 23. Right fast. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Okay, let me screen share it. One second, one second. Let me screen share this. I'm going to show y'all what y'all see is. What y'all see is. We serve a we serve a, a wonderful power, man. We serve a wonderful power. When you get to know y'all, and 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 it's like that. Uh, I said Marcion said the Most High was an evil, wicked man, low down <laughs> God. That's what old old old, old Marcion of uh, who loved Paul in the New Testament. That's what he said. But check this out. This is a wonderful y'all, man. This is a young wonderful power. Look right here. This is uh, Ezekiel 18 and 23. It says, I do not take pleasure at all. Now, this is my Jewish, complete Jewish study Bible again. It says, I do not take any, I do not take any pleasure, y'all, at all in having the wicked person die as Yahweh the Elohim. I would prefer that he or she return from his ways and live. Mm. Ain't, ain't, ain't y'all part, ain't y'all wonderful, man. It's not y'all gracious, most merciful. Then in, in Arabic, what they would say, Er Rahman Ar Rahim. Er Rahman Ar Rahim. That's what they would say in Arabic, y'all. That's my old Islamic days. I just had to practice that, y'all. See that I still remember some of it. Er <laughs> Rahman Ar Rahim. But yeah. But it's, look at y'all, man. Look how, look how wonderful. Y'all don't want these brothers and sisters, the evil people to, 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 to uh, as they say, die, man. He want us to live. He will listen. Y'all want you to repent. All that old foolishness. You going to hell, dog. You going to hell for this. You going to hell. Listen, y'all want you to Repent. That's it. Let's let's go to start at 21. Let's just go to 21 right here. It says, however, if a wicked person repent of all the sins he committed, keep my laws and does what is lawful and right, then he will then he will surely live. Certainly live. He will not die. None of his transgressions he had committed would be remembered against him. For the righteous that he has done, he will live. I do not take any pleasure, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all say, I don't take no pleasure whatsoever. I don't like doing this, man. I don't like this. Man, I don't like, man, letting people die because of their wickedness. I want y'all to live. Please live, y'all. Y'all saying live, brothers and sisters. I don't take no pleasure in this. I ain't got no pleasure in this, but come on now. I created you. I created you as a beautiful being, as a beautiful essence. You know, but you 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 choose to go out here and do something else. I want you to live. I want you to have life. 
That's what Yah is saying here through the prophet Ezekiel. Can we take heed to that, brothers and sisters, and just see how wonderful Yah is and what he wants from us? Come on now. If, 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 if our power is this merciful, gracious, to say, listen, I... It, don't worry about this stuff you did. You remember what you did back in the day? You stole that candy bar, or maybe you did whatever. Aria, when you was out here stealing for cars and you were doing this, hey, man, listen here. You turn from your wicked ways. You turn from you trans those transgressions you did. Once you turn and start obeying me, obeying my commandments, verse 22, Aria, none of those transgressions that you have committed will I remember against you anymore, Brother Aria. Wow, uh, Mosiah, you would do that for me? You would do that for me, uh, Mosiah? You would do that for Brother David, Moray David, or Mosiah? Uh, all we got to do is do what? Learn your ways and keep your instructions, your commandments. That's it. But they told me, Mosai, that your, 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 and I've heard, you know, people say, Mosai, that your, your laws were hard. And then, boy, we can't keep them laws. It's, it's hard. Ooh, we, uh, that, that's what I heard, Mosai. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to, to do that, Mosai. No. The Mosai will never give you something. I never put something on you that he know that you can't keep. That's a lie for those <laughs> like Paul. Yeah, yeah, y'all know I had to say something about some Paul. That's a lie from those who just don't want, they make excuse so they will not have to, as Spike Lee said, do the right thing anyway. Those are the people who come up with that, are people who just want to keep on doing what they want to do. That's just point blank, period. Make up all kind of damn excuses because with the, with the so-called New Testament thing, it's so it's so easy. All you got to do, y'all, come on, y'all. Oh, you ain't got to do nothing for yourself. All you got to just believe that Jesus died for your sin. The man shed his blood and died for your sin. It's you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got, like Paul said, you ain't got to do no works. You ain't you 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 don't have to try to live righteous. You ain't got to try to live righteous. You could be low down, evil ass person. Excuse my language. Evil as hell. Uh, but as long as you believe that Jesus died for your sins and he rose on, like I said, rose on the third day, and that's it. You're good to go. No works, because you can't, because according to the New Testament, now, your works can't save you alone. It, it, it ain't going to do it. But that's not what we are being taught far as Tanakh wise. Tanakh side, all our works is what, what counts. Our works is what, man, that's the, whoo, that's the everything right there, brothers and sisters. Working for righteousness. And see, this is the point that I, we look at here in Liberation Time. This is what, this is our, what we try to emphasize here. We don't have time for nothing else. We ain't got time for no other foolishness. We're just trying to show people, live for yourself. Where, first of all, and put it in, in, in perspective. Live for Yah. And once you live for Yah, you will truly be living for yourself. But just look up here, man. They even starting at 19. How many times it says, look, just look how many times it says righteousness. Righteousness right there. Righteousness right here. Uh, where else I say righteousness right there? Just righteousness, righteousness, all down here on the uh, verse 24. On the other hand, then when the righteous person turn away from his righteousness. Uh-oh, there we go, y'all. See, check this out now. Here goes something else. See, you got to stay righteous. You can't be righteous today and turn to Ma and do something else. And that way, I was cool yesterday, man. So I've been, I, my, my, I got my righteousness stored up, so I'm good. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Check this out right here. Because <laughs> you know, the Christian, this is something else. When y'all heard them Christians talking about once saved, always saved, you better think about it. Check this out right here. And I'm going to hurry up and get up out of here, y'all. But here we go, 24. It says, on the other hand, when the righteous person turns away from his righteousness and commits wickedness by acting in accordance with all the disgusting practices that the, that the wicked person does, he will live. None of the righteous, excuse me, 
none of the righteous deed he has done will be remembered for transgression and sin he has committed he will die so a lot of brothers and sisters just because okay you 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 might have been righteous i'm tired of this here man i'm bro they been he damn like the sinners having all the fun. They get a chance to go to the club, man. Y'all, I, yeah, man, I can't do this here, man. I gotta practice Shabbat every week, man. Man, I can't look. I'm Passover and this, that, and another. I, man, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'd rather go back into the world, man. I gotta have me some fun, y'all. Yeah, man, this here boring right here, bro. This, this boring. This, this, this Torah stuff. And you, you going on back out there, and you doing all of the ignorant stuff. Yeah, all that what this so-called righteousness that you that you so-called did now. Yeah, that goes to naught. That goes away, baby. That just get right white. What is it out of the book of like y'all say in, in the book uh book of Revelation? That's gonna get erased right out of the book of life. So go ahead and erase that right there. We can say that hard dry space. Go ahead and erase that on out the memory bank. Uh-huh. He going right on back out there in them streets. So this is a ever <laughs> This is an everlasting thing. Righteousness is an everlasting thing. Just because you was righteous today, don't mean you can go back out here and do what you, do what you want to do. You know, you can do your Alistair Crawley. Do as thou wilt tomorrow. And think you got it all stored up. Nah, don't work that way, Jack. Not according to Zora. Not according to our tradition. Now, Christianity might teach you something else. So if you want something else, you might well go on over to Christianity. But I tell you what, not according to this, this, this Torah and the teachings of the Most High, Yah, um, or the Israelite, show enough Israelite tradition and culture, that don't work like that. It don't work like that. Now, you can go on over to the Roman and Greek doctrine that they gave you. It worked like that over there. Don't work like that over here. But yes, sir. But uh, brothers and sisters, we just want to just come out here and just just tell y'all, man, uh, be 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 mindful and be watchful for a lot of the doctrine that you hear out here. Uh, if it's not lining you up with the Most High Yah, sure enough, lining you up. I don't just because they're using the name that don't mean nothing. But if they're not truly lining you and showing you how to walk in the way of y'all in the work walk in the way of righteousness don't let your identity your blackness don't let all that blackness catch you up because it'll be the same them same black folks that are telling you all that be the same black ones that dog your ass out i'm telling you now them same ones you standing in the congregations with be the same ones that would dog you out that been telling you the black man this, the black woman that be the same one. And oh shoot, I said the black woman. And black sisters in here, a lot of them damn groups don't have no respect for y'all in the first place. Now I know some of them camps spell shouting up. Look, look at y'all see, because number one, Paul told them to, to tell their woman to shut shut her mouth. You don't even hear nothing about no sisters teaching as far as these damn camps, do you? She got to shut her mouth, so she she can't teach. She can't say nothing. She ain't got no business teaching. Y'all don't hear them saying nothing. Man, that's why they be, if they have some respect, why they still calling you B's and H's, I-S-U-P-K. So, that listen, damn all that. They ain't got no, they like, uh oh it take more Red David Israel to talk about this one. But my brother, more Red David Israel say, let me see. <laughs> yeah, my more David Israel brother said that uh, he t- it take him to talk about this one how they treat the black woman. He they 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 he said they care more about that that Latino that Puerto Rican woman and all them other nation women, but they don't give a damn about the black woman. But they always talking black this the black that. Y'all gotta wait to more David Israel listen to his less his lessons and he go into that right there. Oh, he he yes sir, that's his expertise on that one. But he's sure enough he he's right. He's right. I've heard heard him say it. But so don't get caught up in this all this black racial identity because I'm telling you, man, y'all don't give a lot like, like what the show y'all earlier. Y'all said I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do favorites. I don't take bribes. I don't do favorites. I don't take bribes. So you think your blackness gonna save your black behind. You better think again. 
you better think again. You think just because you claiming I'm Israel, how that been? How did it work out for you? How that been working out for you? You claim you came over here on the slave ship, so how in the hell that work out for you? Your blackness didn't save you. It didn't save you from going in captivity in Babylon. It didn't save you. Did it save you from the Persians, the Medes? Did it save you from the hand of the damn Romans? It didn't save you. Your blackness ain't going to save you. Your righteousness will. Hmm? That's what, that's what, the, now I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just repeating what the Torah said because number one, the Torah don't talk about no racism in the Bible. It don't talk about race in the Bible. You ain't going to find it. I, I wish y'all would find it. Put it in the comments, comment section and let me know. See, show me where it says anything about race. Now you can find nationality, tribes. You can find that. You don't find nothing by no, see y'all, y'all, it, it's how you teach it though. And Moray was just talking, Moray David was just talking about this just the other day. Y'all know I did a video on it, but but like Moray David was saying, y'all talk about Jeremiah uh, 14. Ain't got nothing to do with talking about how the Jews were black. Come on, y'all, stop that. Y'all get people who don't study. Y'all get people who don't really do context. Context is key. Hmm? They taught you that in school, hell. I didn't go to school long enough, far enough, hell, but I know that damn much. Context is key. It's not talking about the Jews were black. You don't find nothing telling you about no colorism. Now, am I denying that the original Israelites were melanated? Nope, hell no. Nah. Ain't no damn fool. Because, hell, I go to, we're going to go farther than that. We talk about how the whole Sumerians and all of that stuff, they got to call the Sumerians the black-headed people. Now, we more not, they probably didn't use those terms, but we talk about English, how to translate in English. But they was called the black-headed people. So we can go, yeah, we that's, that's no doubt about that. But that's not our focus. That's not our key, what we need to be focused on. Focus on stopping telling, like I said, you 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 want to stand out there and do something. Tell these brothers and sisters to stop all these goddamn smashing and grabbing because what's happening is is too. You got a lot of jobs that's close, like businesses that's closing down. There's a uh, sister here in this city that closed. She closing down her restaurant because of the crime. Because of the crime that's been and and the the crime that's been perpetuated by skin folk. The white man didn't do it. It's skin folks that was doing that shit. Why she got, excuse my language, why she got to close down. Now, she claim it ain't, but that's what it was. That's what it was. Let me see what my brother Moray Day said before I get up out of here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got to say it is. He said, yeah, they love them Spanish women. He said, yeah, y'all love them Spanish women. He says, con, they got that. <laughs> they got that on Jeremiah. Yeah, 14. Yes, sir. But more days, y'all love them more Baliqua. Well, this is a day. You know, I can't say all that stuff. They love my Mama Sita. They love Mama Sico Taco Tuesday. They love Taco Tuesday. Yeah, that's why they put <laughs> was it Gad? Was it, was it Gad on the chart? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but check out more Ray David Israel, brothers and sisters, the uh, other radio pod, the radio podcast right here. You can find it also on iHeart Radio because he do it on Talk Shoe right here, which I'm on right here, right now. And I'll put the link again. And I got to make sure I start putting the link all in all of the, the video descriptions. Put the link right there. You can find it, but you can check it out and listen to them on iHeart Radio, the Apple Podcasting Store, uh, Amazon uh pandora hell man everywhere that you get uh podcasts and listen to different podcasts you can find liberation tabernacle of yah and y'all already know right here on youtube as well but yeah but more david is real man he's been going in let me show y'all let me show y'all some of his, his classes again let me show y'all one more time like I said one more again let me show y'all one more again my brother he has these classes right here uh you see that right there. Y'all see the oh shit, hell I ain't, I'm not screen sharing. Let me do this here. One sec, one sec, y'all. Yeah, man. This is all our job, brothers and sisters. We trying to do. We just trying to, man, like they say, liberate, as we say on our other podcast, Coach of Freedom. We just trying to liberate the minds of our people. You know, we've been a part of a, so many different groups and we seen the flim flam. We seen the shenanigans that went on. 
for a lot of this stuff, time out for this foolishness. Now, I do remember one thing that Dr. York said. He said, we got to break the spell of ignorance on our people. We surely do. We surely do. We got to break the spell of ignorance that's on our people. Break that spell, man. Break that spell. As y'all say, teaching the doctrine and commandments of men, get away from that damn foolishness. Get away from that fool. Did somebody just want to be some damn superstars? They want to be the not next Dr. Ben. John, like Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad said. I got to say, like Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad said, they want to be the next Dr. Ben. John Henry Clark. They want their name to ring, y'all. They want their name to ring. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> he said, y'all want that Lisa, Lisa, and Coach Jam. That's what they want. They, it's some of that Sade. That's what they want under their elbow. Like, Yes, sir. They won't want them under their elbow. But yes, sir. They, that's why all it is. They want you they name ringing the bell. They want their name up in lights out there. So they come up with all kind of concoct, all kind of damn crazy ass doctrine that the Torah ain't teaching. That's not teaching us. Excuse me. So again, what are you? And I, almost, I was supposed to do a show on that. What purpose are you using the Torah for? I, I suppose been doing a class on that. What is the purpose of you? using the Torah. What is your purpose? Huh? But Moray Dave, y'all see he did that one right there. And I have it on here as a different name on YouTube, but it was actually what one he actually did right here on Talk Show. Talk about the Black Christ doctrine versus the KKK race doctrine. Damn right. The black is basically the same thing. It's about racism. It's about something that ain't got nothing to do. It has nothing to do is a proper English with the Tanakh and what the Tanakh is actually teaching. One more time. Here's another one right there, y'all. Uh-oh. Jesus, a.k.a. Yahshua versus Heimovir for Resurrection Story. Y'all check that one out for sure, man. Uh-oh. Going into something on that one, y'all. Moray going into something on that one. The Jesus, a.k.a. Yahshua, Yahawashai versus Heimovir for Resurrection Story. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all better check that out right there. Israelite heritage versus Messianic Christian doctrine. Y'all more Ray been going in. Uh, David Israel been going in. So check him out right there, brothers and sisters, right there. I'll talk to you. Like I said, the link will be in there. But all of these shows y'all are here from the more Ray David Israel is over all the different podcasting. Like I said, again, is over all the different podcasting. He is the one who um, hold it down right here for the radio podcast. And yeah, I just have my... Uh, the sessions I'd be over here. I'm over here pie classic now. So this will actually be on talk show as well. But yeah, it'll be on YouTube as well. So yes, sir. So we are your brothers right here. We are the founders of Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. And like I said, our mission is just to do the will of Yah. It ain't our will, y'all. It ain't about it ain't about me. It ain't about Moray. It's about who, y'all? The most high Yah. All right, and his righteousness. All right, y'all. We see y'all on next time. We greatly do appreciate y'all. When they said they said they love them red bones, y'all. That, they want y'all, man. Hey, but he telling the damn, he telling the truth. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I gotta say this. It was more Ray David Israel who enlightened me about these camps. I see. I used to be at one time. I'm a, can I see it? I don't know. I'm just going to have to be flat foot with it and see it. I don't know how to even put it, but I was cheering for y'all at one time. I would almost say y'all had me fooled. Can I say that? Y'all all had me fooled. I was cheering for y'all, but Moray David used to always tell me, Aria, it ain't what you think. It ain't what you think, bro. I'm telling you, I was like, no, nah, they man, them used to be ex game bangers. He know it. They used to be ex game bangers, brother. They, you know, they teaching our people so and so. He like, Aria, don't let that fool you. That he always said that. Don't let it fool you. Don't let them fool you. Like, all right, you know, it's like your old head, you know, like your old elder or something. Like, say, all right, that's all they gonna say. All right, now I'm telling you now. All right, now that's all they can say. All right, you gonna see. And he was trying to tell me, and eventually, I seen. And I see now exactly what he's talking about. It ain't a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, and I said that y'all were ex gang bangers. Hell, seem like a lot of y'all are gang bangers in the name of Yahweh Shai. 
Y'all, in the name of your highway, y'all, y'all still gangbangers. Y'all just do Passover. Y'all gangbangers that do Passover. Y'all gangbangers that do, uh, hell, I don't know. Y'all do some of the ceremonies, the high holy days, keep the high holy days. But, <laughs> but hell, uh, some of y'all had, uh, uh oh, day. I'm going to say this, and I know I got to get out of here now. I heard that some of y'all had Passover, went straight to the strip club. Well, had it, uh oh, yeah, uh huh, had a Passover thing at a damn strip club. Now, what, whoa, wait a minute. What, 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 what Israel do that at? Huh? Israelites having a Passover, the Seder or a party at, I, wait a minute, after party at a strip club? You, Israelites in a damn strip club? Oh, you got to be kidding, Ari, y'all. Y'all got to be kidding more right day. Y'all better stop lying on them camps. They ain't doing nothing like that. Okay. Okay. And y'all want somebody to follow y'all. And y'all talk about y'all teaching. Get back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Shit, not in no strip club. Ain't no tour in no strip club. <laughs> yes, sir. Sakari. Yes, who it was, day. That was Sakari. You sure it right. Sakari. Yes, sir. We hey, we, we ain't scared to tell you who it is over here. Mm -mm, We're gonna call it out. Cause y'all are misguiding the people. We ain't scared. We just telling the damn truth. We just telling the truth. We ain't lying on y'all. We ain't lying on y'all. We ain't got no reason to. Like I said, we want you to live. We want you to uh, uh, repent. Turn from your wicked ways. That's what we. That's why we saying it. Turn from your wicked ways. Number one, come up out that damn your highway shot stuff. Number one, you got to come up out of that, y'all. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Come up out of that. But you got to repent, man. Y'all got to turn from your wicked ways, man. Stop that, man. Like I said, you can't, you can't, y'all halfway ass in the street <laughs> and, 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 and parsley. I don't even know y'all parsley in the, uh, in the Torah. I don't know where y'all at. No, but I forgot. According to some of y'all doctrine, some of y'all camps. Y'all say y'all trying to win souls to Christ. Not to y'all, but to Christ. So I guess y'all can do that type of stuff in, under that messianic doctrine. But even to knock only, y'all ain't out of the damn well, out of the way either. Y'all got to get it right too. Let's teach the people, man. Y'all get mad at the Jews of Judaism. Shit, I've learned more from the damn Jews of Judaism than I have from the damn black Israelite community. Y'all want me to tell a lie? Want me to tell the truth? Take my glass off. Y'all can see that I ain't playing. I've learned more from the, the ones y'all tell about the damn devil and the fake Jews. That's a goddamn shame. Excuse my language. I've learned more about Torah, how to utilize Torah, from the ones who y'all claim to be the fake damn Jews than I have anything from the so-called Hebrew Israelite community. And that is a damn shame. I was listening to y'all. I'm telling you, I was, it was, I was too, y'all want me to, like I said, y'all want me to lie. Y'all want me to tell the damn truth. I think I better tell the truth. I think I'd rather tell the truth. And it is. It's a damn shame. That's why y'all heard me say that I got a detox from a lot of this bull crap that I was fed and I'm listening to it all this. I'm trying to learn sincerely like the history, all of this stuff, real history. Even when the even I don't know, I'm not New Testament person, but y'all call it New Testament, but who were the Pharisees? I I don't I don't I don't even hear these cats talk about. Who were the Pharisees? Who were truly were the Sadducees? Where they came from and so on and so. You don't hear that history here or amongst the so-called Israelite community. Damn, I ain't lying, lying. They got damn European. Y'all, the, the fake Jews is y'all claim. Now, nah, that's what they say, y'all. I ain't calling y'all that. That's what they claim. God damn it, they go in. They go in. They go in. I've been learning a lot over there. Y'all might say, well, y'all damn sell out. You can call me what the hell you want to. I'm learning. 
I'm learning. That's what this is all about. This is about education, learning how to serve my creator and learning the true history. I ain't on not no fictitious bull crap history, no lying ass history. I'm trying to learn. We're trying to learn. Oh, here, Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. We're trying to learn the proper way so we can help educate and give our people the proper understanding. Because again, just saying you black ain't going to get it, Jack. That ain't going to get it. That ain't going to cut it. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't help you three, four hundred years ago. It didn't help you, goddammit. I don't know. All these other captives, did it help you out? Huh? It's cool. If we, we need to know who, you know, the heritage. I'm not, we're not saying that. We're not saying don't teach people your heritage. But don't let that be like that. That's that's going to save you. Like, that's, that's it. Like, your blackness is going to save you. Like, that's a, you know, hey. Keep on thinking that shit. Excuse my language. Let me get up. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I got to give me something to eat, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, David. Them tacos I had earlier today didn't cut it, man. They didn't cut it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, y'all. Like I said, on behalf of my brother, Moray David Israel, and, uh, man, myself right here, Moray Israel Israel, we thank y'all, man. We thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. But we got to get, we got to, we got to do better, brothers and sisters. We got to do better. Because we are supposed to be the light unto the nation. And damn it, we got to shine, shine, shine. They're getting their teaching on people. Oh, y'all, have y'all been paying attention? Now, whether you believe in Satanism or whatever, see how they've been teaching people this Satanism and all of this other isms and all this other stuff that's going on. Are you paying attention to what's really going on? And while you talk about your blackness, y'all see how they've been utilizing black people for, the, for all this destruction? Damn near all the trans stuff they're going on, they're utilizing black people as the damn poster child of it. And y'all might say, see, that's the white man. He's making us do it. I said, I'm gone. But here's the last one. He said, the white man making our people do this. He's making us do You ain't making us do a damn thing. Now, I got to see it. I like the book of James. I do like the book of James. I like James. I like James. I like the book of James. Which they call uh, which is actually ain't James. I don't know why the hell they call it James. It got cold. But James talk about and say, when you are led away, let me find it right fast, y'all. I ain't gonna even pull up on the screen. I gotta hear him get out of here. But when you're led away, don't say you're led away. No, let me see. Let me get it right. I don't want to quote it off the top of my head. But I like James when he talk about this one here, right? Now this is the book of James, chapter one. Uh, verse 13. Now, this is my complete Jewish study Bible again, y'all. I like how it's worded, y'all. That's why I'm always reading this one. I like the wording. It's speak like how we actually speak today. Not that, like I said, not that goddamn that hither and thou. We don't speak like that, y'all. Me and Dave don't get on the phone. How out thou, brother David? You doing okay, my brother? And you, you know, hell no. <laughs> we don't talk like that. But anyway, here we go, right, right, brothers and sisters. It says, no one being tempted should say, I am being tempted by the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted by evil, and the Most High himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is being tempted whenever he is being dragged away. Let me excuse me, let me go back. Rather, each person is being tempted whenever he is being dragged off and enticed by the bait of his own desire. So a lot of this stuff when y'all so-called blaming the white man for making this happen, making black folks do this and making black folks do that. No, it ain't. No, nope. mm -mm. that's a lie a lot of times. It's a lot of things because you want to do it. They desire some of these things to do, and that's why they do it. You can easily say, hell no. Unless you're being forced at gunpoint, night point, they got your whole family hell hostage or something like that. Do you, then now that's another story. But a lot of these people, man, they're doing these things because this is what they want to do. This is what they desire to do. So when Sakari them had that thing at the strip club, that's what they desire to do. Did the white man them make them have a damn pa after party at the at, at the strip club at the Passover? Did they? Did the white man make them do that? Hell no. So all this music from IGPK, all this talking about murder and calling women bees and ages, putting switches on glocks. Did the white man make y'all put that in y'all music? Hell no. 
That's something y'all desire. That's something you want to do. So stop all that lying ass stuff. That's something you want to do. That's why what when 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 the most high told Cain in the beginning, right, fast, he said that uh 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 you know, he's talking about all you gotta do is do the right thing, Cain. He said, but you know, if you don't sin crotches at the door. Let me find it right fast, y'all. Seeing crotches at the door, you know, and wait and waiting on you. That's all you got to do is do the right thing. Here we go, right fast, y'all. There's uh, uh, the book of Barashi, the book of Genesis. That's four and seven. If you are doing what is good, you should hold your you should hold your head up high. And if you don't do what is good, sin is crotching at the door. It wants you, but you can rule over it. Sin crouches the door, but listen here. It has no control over you unless you let it do it. Just because it's sitting there at that door, it's waiting on you to open it and allow it to come in. But here it go again. It says, you can do what's good. Shouldn't you hold your head up high? Hold your damn head up high. Hold your head up high, Israel. Come on now. It says, but if you, <laughs> but if you don't do what is good, sin is crouching at the door. Sin can sit there all day long. You the one got to open up the door and let it in. The white man, as y'all say, is you claim the white man can tempt you all day long. And Islam, they, I got to go back to Islam right fast. Islam in the book of Islam said, call him the, uh, hush, uh, uh, the whisperer, the whisperer, the one who whispers into the heart of man. And then he withdraws after he whispers. That's one of the surahs in now. It's called the whisperer. He whispers into the heart of man and then withdraws after his whisper, meaning he just give evil. He might give these suggestions. Remember, think, think about this one right fast, y'all. David Chappelle, when he was talking to Oprah and he said they came to him and suggested that he put on that dress. He's like, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. And then they left out. They came back and they, come on, Dave, it'd be funny, Dave. Y'all remember that? Oh, it'd be funny, Dave. Come on, just put the dress on, man. you are like, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. Even though they came with the suggesting the brother said hell no i ain't doing that so that's how we have to be i don't give a damn how many come how many times they come to you and they do it how many times they how much money they offer you only they ain't gonna do you if you desire it you're gonna do it if you want to stand with y'all you're gonna like hell no i'm gonna stand with my creator my creator said i'm not supposed to do thou shall not now i'm using that thou this thou shall not do such and such and so so I ain't doing it. All right, y'all. Shalom. We gone. We gone this time. All right. Most I bless y'all. Most I bless. Shalom.